Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. What's going on, family and friends? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, do not let it be your last. Make sure you come back and see me today. It is extremely cold out here. Um, the car says it's about 19 degrees. Let me turn the heat down because I got it blasted, got it pumping up in here. Uh, it's about 19 degrees and that's just being outside. I'm sure the wind chill is much different, but the hustle does not stop. The game does not stop. I'm in route right now to meet a client to help them find a home. They are in the market for lease purchase or rental. And I have about seven properties that I'm going to show them today. So thanks for coming along and I'll start as soon as I get there. <laughs> uh, quick tips that I want to share with you in regards to renting properties. You want to make sure that um, you have the funds and you're ready to go and write that contract as soon as you find what you like because if you like it, somebody else loves it. And typically when I'm out showing property, whether it's for sale or it's for rent, people wait to the last minute and the last minute will cost you. It will cost you what you like and what you love. So don't let that be you. Make sure if you like something that you be a proponent of yourself and act quickly. You also want to make sure you check your credit score because as I mentioned in most of my videos, landlords are really um, paying attention to that now and they're paying attention to it for the simple reason that you know, people with bad credit, I mean, they have a history of not paying bills and landlords want to be paid because majority of the time, if they don't have a mortgage on it, they have expenses that must need them. In a quarter mile, turn left onto the I-270 East ramp. They have expenses that need to be paid. So if you don't pay them, that means that they're not getting paid and they are typically in a deficit or um, cash flow will be limited. So make sure you uh, your credit score is in a decent um range I would say anywhere from rental anywhere from 550 to at least 600 and um, just make sure your ducks and eggs and T's and S's and all that kind of stuff everything is crossed and everything is in line so stay tuned I'll talk with you soon so as you can see I like it though you like it a little TLC. Got a little fireplace back there. Nice family. The yard not that big though, but you got a deck back here. Oh, a little bitty deck, but depends on what you want. There's a basement down there. Okay. It's, it's low. It is basement low. low. Basement low. It, it is, is low. low. I like the carpet. Do something with a cigarette smoke smell. The smell is. Yeah, the smell will get you. The carpet is. Yeah. And it's you got new. I mean, from compared to the other appliances we've seen. These are nicer, they're yes. cleaner. That that stove oh, yes. is really clean. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if this okay, yeah. <laughs> Compared to the other ones we saw. But the yard is a little too huge. Okay. okay. Homes typically cost less for utility meals. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Just a vacant home next door. The kitchen actually is a decent size too, you all. They're not really updated. They painted them, which is a a good thing. Bathroom is cute. You can paint cabinets and bring back value to them. Loving the hardwood floor. It's two closets over here. I gotta get that. <laughs> She's breaking the. <laughs> there you go. Gave us a warning to duck before we went down. And these these are newer steps here, you guys. Yeah. We did the steps. Is it what? 
a shower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> without walls. <laughs> okay, a shower without walls. The shower? Um, get the tuck point around here with these breezes. They kind of maintain this because you typically don't go into older homes and see the brick as well positioned as these are. They've tuck pointed it and kept it up. It is. That's what I'm saying. They did. They came in here and did some work to it. Put the cement around there. Um, and you over there. Those are things we have to pay attention to. The electric box, the plumbing. Does that washer dryer not work or something? If it's here, interesting. It looks like it might be some over there too. Well, yeah, probably they probably put them over here. They don't look like they do. They're not plugged up. So either they giving them away or they don't work and will remove it upon somebody moving in. Pay attention to the neighbor's yard. Yard and they take. And they more than likely cut their grass. <laughs> so um, it's just that one over there. I mean, occasionally you do have neighbors that. Oh, he's straight nasty. Ah. Oh, yeah. You know how older homes they have them little other tuckways, like for, um, you know. Yeah. Oh, this is this over here. It's amazing that people, people actually live like that. But that's a brand new lawnmower under there. That's what I was just saying. It's a brand new lawnmower. It's a brand new lawnmower. Have we seen today? We see five because one of them we tried to get in, we could not see. So on your top two, what would they be? Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. We had to count a couple of them out because I always tell clients don't judge, huh? This one, I want to say it's 800. I need to check it. I can't because I don't have that on there where I can pull it up real quick. Okay. So I can let you know that ASAP. Actually, I can go on here in a second. Let me see if it'll pull it up. This one is not bad. It's not bad. Okay. One to ten. Scale of one to ten. Tell me what you think. <laughs> so we were speaking about how some nasty places that we went in look. This is an example of one here. I have no idea what that is on the floor, but it looks disgusting. And then this one right here, the stove was absolutely disgusting as well. It looked like it had not been cleaned in centuries. So you can put in a contract for the landlord to clean up the house prior to you moving in to stop in the thrift store on my way from showing property i always like to look at new pieces that they have in stock i'm telling y'all stop sleeping on the thrift store and all the super cool things that you can get get it steam clean it's too many it might be a little bit too expensive but this is a nice set right here for a homeowner. It's a nice piece right here. Nice piece right here. We got this nice entertainment center here. One million. Nice boxes. So a lot of times when I'm working with first time renters or home buyers, they don't have a lot of money. They spend a lot of money getting their home. So I always advise to check out your local thrift areas and you can find some nice pieces that you can integrate into your new space for little to no money. There's dishes, there's different unique art pieces, there's even dining tables already set up and ready to go, okay? So again, this piece right here was about $200 for all of it, the whole set. 
So I worked really, really hard today. <laughs> and so I decided to come home and make sure that the hubby had a meal on the table. Do you hear me? I wanted me some fried cabbage and that's what I did. I chopped up that cabbage like crazy. And I put it in a pan with some turkey bacon, of course, and seasoned it with all my favorite spices, the garlic powder, the tonies, the butter, black pepper, Himalayan salt, and then I tossed it up and just whipped it up real good and fried it for a little bit with a little olive oil. Look at this, truffle mac cheese bites. These things were delicious deep fried. Yes, dinner was good. Mm, I'm sleepy now. Oh. Thanks so much for tagging along with me on a real estate showing, Goodwill Hunt, as well as cooking in my kitchen. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Blessings.